All right, the rule of thumb in politics, especially in a midterm election year, is he or she who is enraged the most is more likely to vote the most. And if that is the case, is the rage more prominent on the left? Uh, given ongoing loathing about President Trump and everything he's doing, even though on the economy things seem to be improving and in the markets, well, today's any indication, continuing to be advancing. Uh, it really depends on whether that group, the group that's satisfied with things, has the same zeal to go out and vote. Uh, let's just see. Uh, former uh, Bush uh, speechwriter, Annika Green, Independent Women's Forum Senior Fellow, Patrice Lee Unwuka. Patrice Lee, what do you think? You know, I think uh, angst is going to play a huge role here. I mean, I, I, while the economy is doing well, and I think people are feeling that their economic position is better, you know, when it comes to some of those wedge issues around immigration on the left and, and on the right, potentially, if we can't get a Supreme Court nominee through, the uh, nominated and approved by the time the elections roll around, then that's going to give some people on the right motivations to say, hey, I want to ensure that, you know, whomever the president nominates will finally get through uh, and pass. And, and when we look back at 2016, 27 percent of Trump supporters voted for him because of his ability, of his likelihood to nominate a new Supreme Court justice. You know, and I don't know how the Supreme Court thing fares out. I tend to think, I guess it could have an effect on, on with all great respect for Patrice. I think basic, you know, bread and butter issues went out. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean in a midterm election year, if, if things are fine or deemed to be fine, those folks go out to vote. They might be content with things or they're not inclined to vote. So the angrier the voter does. Uh, but how do you see it all playing out? I think that the most important thing is for Republicans to pull another Gorsuch, to get another justice uh, nominated and uh, confirmed. And we know that McConnell said the vote will be in the fall. It will be before the elections. I would guess that it would be in September. But uh, with that as a second accomplishment under their belt, I think what uh, Republicans will benefit from is that the Trump voter feels that this entire time he's been in office that he has not gotten a fair shake by the news media. And with the anticipated great opposition that whoever he nominates will encounter, that indignation may carry more people to the ballot box. You know, uh, Patrice, you could look at this and then start saying uh, the, another variable is, is a trade war and how that's going to affect average folks who go to the store and find out that some of their favorite items are... are are a lot more expensive because this has now gone way beyond steel and aluminum. It's going to affect 800 plus items when all is said and done at a minimum, affecting everything from cherries and whipped cream to cars. <laughs> so it will have a measurable impact if it all goes to, to pass. What, what do you think? Well, that's true. I mean, it just depends on how quickly the slowing economy, which unfortunately we saw this this just this week that the Q1 uh, economy slowed, you know, uh, was was growth was less than expected. Um, and so if some of the economic the economists who predicted that, you know, because of the trade wars or the potential tit for tat back and forth is going to slow growth and lead to net job losses, then I think if it shows up by November or October, then people will begin to say, hey, wait a minute, what are we doing about tariffs? You know, I think the understanding the general understanding, though, is most people in their every day to day, they're not looking at the numbers like we are around, you know, Q1 and Q2, um, you know, right. economic growth. They're looking at, you know, how much are they paying in gas at the pump? How much are they paying for their, their daily groceries? And I think until we see those effects come into play, then thankfully, I don't think you're going to see as much of a backlash. And I'm hoping that these tariffs are really just a tool for better negotiations and really don't end up triggering the kind of negative impacts that they really could. Annika? I think that the other point to make here is that Republicans have a whole package they're going to be campaigning on. So, yes, the economy is very important, and Trump has set himself up by tying himself to the economy, but other Republicans are going to be talking to their constituents and saying, hey, we're trying to do things to help veterans. We're working on the opioid crisis. Uh, we have been deregulating, and the Trump administration has been trumpeting that they managed to get rid of uh, 22 regulations and only passed one new one in their first year. And that also has an impact on the economy. All right. Ladies, thank you very, very much.